What's up, y'all? What it do? Welcome to my live stream. Random, random live stream on Thursday. Still a little money in trucking right now. Where y'all, where y'all hitting from? What states I represent from? And if um, are y'all doing box trucks or um, semi trucks or what y'all doing? Saw your podcast. You did, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Philly in the building. Let me know if y'all can hear me um, good because I ain't got my mic today. But y'all still should hear me. I mean, I check my audio. My audio should be should, should be real good. J Tor Incorporate and Incorporate said you doing both of them. You got Chicago in the building. So, I, so I'm assuming y'all can't hear me. I'm assuming y'all can't hear me because y'all responded. So what it do though? I mean, um I was I was talking a lot of stuff about Amazon, man, and hearing this last week, man. I um I booked some amazing loads off of there. Um uh, I'm talking like and it was it was it was a it was a I probably booked about five of them. I booked a two 244 mile load for like 15, 1600. And um I booked a I booked a couple of loads. I booked a load to Charlotte from Atlanta for like 1900 or like tonight like 2200 or some crazy shit. But it been good though. So like when it's good, it's good. It just is it's not one of those things that I tell y'all to not depend on. You just kind of check on her. If if it's good, if it's working, then go for it. But just don't build a business completely based around that one thing that's just pretty much the the premise of what i was saying like don't 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 base it all just on that one thing no more you know uh, base it on on everything on all the numbers on the midwest the midwest has been really really good though um of course like always but it's um you can actually i actually been working with a with, with a guy out there with my peoples um and and it's been good it got me considering you know moving majority of my trucks to that to, to that space man because the loads are not are not hard to get and they and they paying good i mean they got i just can't believe the amount of power only loads that i'm able to find out there i mean it's incredible so shouts out to the midwest for making life easy for us and um Trucks haven't got any easier. Still haven't found many places to rent from. I will pay somebody if they can give me a plug on some rentals right now. Cause I, for the first time, I got more drivers than I got. I got more drivers than I got trucks. <laughs> the trucks available. Like um, it's, it's 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 a crazy thing. Luckily, I got I got a um, truck that they said they just finished up. It needed a one box. If you ever heard one box run, uh, if you buy in a truck, definitely have the one box check because the one box costs like nine grand so um you don't want that to be something that falls on your lap that's the main reason why i'm glad i bought from penske and um they honored the 14 day thing they got they finna have to pay like about that truck that's finna come out the shop about 15 grand so um just in the, for the one box and all the other stuff that it needed. So I couldn't end up getting caught up with all of that. Like on another truck, they sold me, I had to already put like five G's into it of my own money. Well, yeah, yeah, almost about five. So, hey, it's, it's definitely one of those things. So let me jump into some questions real quick. Shout out to you from the Show Me State. All right, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely representing St. Louis. So we got Naptown, we got Detroit, we got Dallas in here, we got um, New York, Savannah, Savannah moving back to North Carolina, where I'll do box truck. Okay, for sure. So Eugene, you say you're doing box trucks out, out there in North Carolina. Do you got anything lined up? Okay, there go them questions flowing in. I guess it's just slowing down. I did 3,200 on 
two Amazon box truck loads this week. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Hey. Yeah, but I was strong was off the semi. But like I said, sometimes you got to just, you got to wait till like the last minute with them people, man, before you could get some good money. They be, uh, they be playing a lot of games. If y'all on Facebook and like my group or something, if y'all could come to YouTube, because I... I'm not sure if I could um if I can see y'all questions over here. Maybe, maybe I can. Um, I'm just not sure though. Curtis Jackson say he need help bad. What you need help with? Drop them questions. It's a live QA right now. I'm looking for a trailer. Oh yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I know where some I'm at. They just um I just like the ones that are there that are newer to 10 years, so I won't have any restrictions, but I do know where some trailers at that you can buy. They're they're not like it's not like you can't buy any. I just don't want to buy no older ones for real. If like if I don't have to, but it's looking like I might have to. Quick question: I do box trucks, but would like to know the semi truck game. Your class is still available. Want to learn from scratch? Yeah, um, I actually got a class coming up on the twenty um, second. <clears throat> registration starts was started like a day ago i think i probably got about seven slots left for that class and i believe the 22nd is the right day let me let me double check that real quick let me check that date for y'all real quick yeah get 22nd it is so yeah the 22nd is um is what we doing it's usually um four fifty if you if you um do it tonight off the live it's it's three ninety nine to do the to do the live class. I have a person asking me if I can let them use my MC. Not sure how that would work. Yeah, that's a um I'm doing it for the first time now. It's very lucrative from what I'm seeing. Um, I just think you gotta I just think you gotta vet the people that you're doing. Like I'm only doing, I'm only letting people run under my authority if they are an owner operator that's in their own, that's in a truck. So if they drive in a the truck, then I let them do it. But I'm not letting anybody just putting a driver in a truck run under my authority right now because I just feel like the people who, who own the truck are a little more responsible. You know, um, I'll take my chances with those types of types of businesses. Uh, Eugene Moore. Now I'm looking. I'm. Nah, I'm doing box truck just yet. I have to wait until about fall time before I can commit. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's a smooth, solid plan. Yeah, yes, I do, uh, mentor. You can go on my website. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call, or you can book. Uh, I am taking openings for my um for the one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. It's cost five k, but we set up the whole business for you. Website, um, you get to come down here for eight hours, and um and work with me in the office so you can see exactly how it goes that's a part of the 5k package um like i said we set everything up and then you get access to me you know to to get as many one-on-one -on -one calls as you need to get help through the process so okay thanks is there pros and cons to letting them use my mc oh hell yeah yeah if you let somebody use their mc and they have an accident it's gonna be on your insurance if that's what you mean you're saying use your mc um i don't know what that means what you mean using when i'm what i'm well my, my interpretation of what you're asking me is letting somebody run under your authority that's what my interpretation is and um yeah yes yes it's 5k at once it's it's 2500 down and then another 2500 after we go through the call the um the call to make sure that it's a good fit for you for both of us because i'm not i don't do anybody with uh, uh I do somebody with but with a box truck in their program if they driving it themselves though because I I know that I can I can guarantee success with that but uh, too many people um get in this game and drop out so I'm very picky about who I want to get in this program because I don't want to work with anybody who who gonna end up giving up. I'm looking for a reliable and proactive dispatcher for a box truck. Can you point me in the right direction? Um, no, nah. because the people that I thought was really good they. They was okay, but they didn't they didn't yield me the results consistently enough for me to be like putting their information out there. So nah. 
if I just think about it, I've been in the game five years and I can't even really do in the the getting myself good box truck loads is difficult. So not saying I'm the best at everything, but I think after I've been dealing with box trucks for some time now, it still hasn't gotten any easier for me to to find like a b- bunch of box truck loads that that I that I feel like I can, you know, that I consistently make five grand after spending, you know, three grand on on um what am I trying to say? On um on like expenses for the week. So yeah. So I wasn't clearing I wasn't clearing enough for me. Um so I ended up um taking all my box truck rentals back and um selling all of the other ones that I had. They say I quit my job to be a full time entrepreneur. It's no giving up for me. It's sink or swim. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, that's how I had to do it. I had left the post office, man. And I was like, man, I'm going to make this trucking thing work. And, and like I said, right now, it's it's a funny game, but it's work out there. Um, my guys are working consistently. I, I haven't found any slows in the game. December was actually worse than it is right now. For some reason, I don't know. This was the worst peak ever. But right now, I'm kind of having my way. Everything's turning around. I'm kind of getting my race that I need. Um, I got some dedicated going with JB Hunt. I got some, uh, some stuff still going on with Amazon. Um, very small stuff, just looking to expand the horizon. Somebody said, where the reefers? I don't know. Um, I actually I actually want a reefer though, because I, I got a driver that that got reefer experience, and I'm actually looking for a flatbed trailer too, though, because I want to see what that's like. He said, How much are you make in profit a week? Are you saying this for us in semi-trucks? If you are, I'm doing 2000 to 4000 Profit after after all expenses a week. Do not see your trustee IRP? Nah, not to my knowledge. I've never had it. Had IRP for that. And it's supposed to be different in every state, but I don't I don't think that's one of the things that's different. Give me uh give me the trailer plug. Hey, hey, the trailer plug is my boy. Um, his name is Trailer Strong on, on Instagram. So just at Trailer Strong, and he be having some trailers. But you also could go to Commercial Truck Trader too, though, because his be going fast, fast, fast. Okay, all right, I'll answer that question. Hold on, hold on. I trade. I want to say, I guess I want to say I day trade every day and profit 250 a day. Can I make more with the box truck? Yeah, you can. But I would say if you able to do that 250 a day consistently, I would do that over a box truck because the game could change so quickly and then and you'll be making a whole lot less. But just like, I mean, I don't know how good if you, if I was that good on day trading, I wouldn't get a box truck. If I knew, if I had the algorithm and everything down, I wouldn't. But like I said, if you're just trying to diversify your income, yeah. Yo, bro, I got three semis hooking me up with the trailers. Oh, yeah, like I said, those, um, that, <clears throat> my boy Trailer Strong, he he got them. Um, it's people that got them. They just ain't got the ones that, like, a lot of a lot of my people that I run loads with, they want 10 years of newer. So, and he don't sell those type of trailers. So, that's the only reason why I haven't bought more trailers from him. I don't know, for some reason. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but my computer kind of moving a little slow. It's all good, man. I ain't um I ain't been as good as I am, but I'm you know, I'm getting it back, I'm getting back to the swing of these lives and everything. So they told me they want my MC to do Amazon loads and it will be paying me a percentage. I think that would be like you said, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm assuming so that means you're gonna have to if they run it under your MC, you they're gonna have to put your numbers on the side of their truck. You're gonna have to add them to your insurance. Um, like I said, you'll be responsible and liable for all of their compliance and everything. So did business credit credit help your business a lot in the beginning? Um, not in the beginning. I just used my own credit in the beginning, but now, you know, of course, once I started to build my business credit, it, it definitely helps you when you that up and down roller coaster you're gonna be on in the beginning. It definitely, um, of course. I mean, having having extra income, 
Like right now, I got a truck that's going to get out the shop on Wednesday, 11000 They needed a new clutch and some other stuff. They had to send the clutch off and send the um, transmission to Detroit or wherever to get it fixed. It's going to be eleven grand. Um, and luckily, the other two trucks are under warranty. So, and they both get in one box. So, they both getting over $15,000, up to like fifteen grand worth of work done to them. Just glad I dodged those two. What's a good fuel car to use to build business credit? Wex. Wex is a very good um, fuel car to build business credit. They don't have any perks. Um, Com Data is what I got now. Um, I believe it should be building my business credit, but I already got like Wells Fargo cards and American. Um, I got so many like a Delta. I got a Delta card. I got a Lowe's card. I got probably like six different cards I'm using to build my credit up. So I, I ain't really checking at them. And then I'm still using my Quill accounts and um, Uline accounts and all of those different things to build on my business credit as well. Should I just upgrade from box trucks to a semi truck? Then since the box truck game fluctuates and it's very unpredictable, I would. I mean, it's pretty much what I just did. I just I started off for my first two years in business doing strictly box first two and a half, almost three years in business doing predominantly box trucks. And now I don't even do. I still got like six box trucks that run, but those are all on on the operators in the Atlanta area. I need a one on one to find a driver. What area are you in, Javon Wilson? Because I, I mean, you you just got to probably pay to promote. Because I probably all the, I got eight drivers and I paid about five hundred dollars a piece to get each driver. That's how much promotion I had to put out here on Indeed to get them. Well, actually, two of the drivers found me from YouTube, so I didn't have to pay for them. But I'm just I just spent thirty five hundred dollars in the last two months on trying to you know trying to recruit drivers. But I still got hella extra drivers that was just sitting in there just waiting, kind of waiting on me a little bit. But I, I got to get trucks for them. Hey, I'm very new to this. I am interested in doing the box trucks. So in another month, I'm going to need that 5K deal. Okay, cool. Hey, perfect. Like I said, um, you know, my website, KobePayway.com. So just, you know, go to the website, sign up, hit me up. That's, the, that's really what's got me still, still doing this thing, though, for real. <laughs> The fact that people be booking the one on ones, all of the stuff that comes from YouTube is actually creating this as like a, a stream of income for me. So I don't mind doing it, you know, um, as, as long as, you know, it makes sense. Tactical TV, what up? It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. So I caught up to y'all questions. Um, I'm not going to sit here and too much ramble alone if you guys don't have it, a whole bunch of questions. Um, what, what else, another, another thing that I was looking at, um, that people are not really considering in, in the space of doing trucking is you got like rail yard work. They've been paying a lot going to certain destinations with intermodal. I don't really like the idea of it because a lot of the loads are overweight and I don't really like, the, I don't really want to turn my trucks up, you know, and I only got four rentals. So now I have. In my fleet, for the first time, I have more company trucks than I have rental trucks. So um, I got to kind of play a different game. And that's the one thing I like about Amazon loads is that Amazon loads are very light. So they don't put a whole lot of stress on my truck and really good on fuel economy, too, as well. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to catch up with these questions there. How much? Uh, what is the, what's the most important thing to check off legally when hiring a driver? I'm going to get audit soon. I'm only months old. Um, <clears throat> if you go to the go on Google and look up FMCSA driver qualification list, and they're gonna give you a list of the things that they're gonna look at when you get audited. <laughs> and so instead of you listening to me telling you what to do, just go do that one. And I, I promise you, you you'll be straight. It's going to be directly from the horse's mouth. How much would you pay a driver for a box truck going over the road? And do you pay their meals or that's on them? No, I, don't, I never paid their meals. And I paid my box truck drivers like 24% of the load.
listening to you has convinced me to get semi-versal box truck. How can someone who doesn't have a CDL with no plans to drive succeed in the trucking game? Major key points. I mean, it's easy, though. As long as you find somebody who could drive, it's kind of like it's no difference than you hiring, than you not knowing how to hook, do electrical and you hiring somebody to do electrical work for you. You just got to you're going to you're going to go through a number of drivers, find somebody who who's been doing it for some years, experience the same thing you would do for an electrician. And you can hire somebody to work on your house or something. You just going to vet the people, look and see who got some decent reviews and you're going to hire them to do the work and you're going to trust the expertise. I mean, that's just that. Because I ain't never, I never, I mean, I, I got, and like I said, I got eight drivers now and I could drive my truck because they all automatics, but I mean, I only drive them at the shop like five minutes away or something like that. I do live here in St. Louis as an owner operator. Should I relocate to Atlanta? Is it lucrative out there? No, it's way more lucrative than St. Louis. You could hook up with me for dispatch services and I can help you find the better loads, but say, I would never, and I didn't truck and leave St. Louis for Atlanta. That's like, I'm, I'm trying to send my trucks from Atlanta to St. Louis. <laughs> I'm just trying to find somewhere to park them and find some drivers out there. If I can find some drivers out there that, that, that want to do something more than go home every day, then I would definitely do that. But I just couldn't find no drivers out there when I, when I put an ad out. What's the best load board you suggest? DAT is the best load board. For me, uh, I use truck stop whenever DAT go down, but DAT is the one for me. Are you offering any more dispatch courses? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I do the dispatch course the, the week after the other one. Um, actually, I mean, I'd rather just do them both in the same day. Just get it, just, just get just get two for one. You know, if you, you can get the trucking and then you can get the dispatching course together. Cause I, I do the dispatching course for an additional like 199. Because dispatching is, um, is, 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 I wouldn't say it's easy. It's just, like I said, you gotta, you gotta understand it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't a whole lot to do that. <laughs> I said, change the smoke detector batteries. I, I definitely need to, bro. But it's in the studio, though, so I ain't tripping. I don't know why my computer moving so slow. How is day cab trucking? Um, it, it's it's just, it's a semi. It's the same as everything. Um, I I'm not into um day cabs though, because I be need my trucks to um to do to be multi use just in case they got to go over the road. Get your class A box trucks a week. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, nah, I mean the box trucks ain't they ain't hitting. Yeah, that fire case definitely work. He gives you the blueprint walkthrough and will dispatch your truck. So you will make the money back. Talk to your CPA. There's a way to write it off. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we there's nobody that's that's got into the program that I didn't make them five or six grand back their first week out. So you're gonna make the money, you're gonna make the gross in sales back the first week. So get guaranteed as long as you got a semi. Or if you got a well, in the, yeah, the only, only can guarantee that on the semi, the box trucks, you on your own. <laughs> it ain't no really like I can show you six thousand. I can go on the load board and show you six thousand dollars worth of loads right now in most cities. You still prefer renting over buying? Always, I will always prefer renting over buying because I wouldn't like to buy. I can always scale more with renting. That's the key. The key thing I'm always thinking about is scale. Um, the 2022s and my fleet are all rental trucks. All my trucks are 2016s, and I'm and I'm having I don't know I don't know what the hell just happened, and, and I'm having a few problems with them. Hold on, real quick. I'm not sure what the hell wrong with this. Yeah, that shit just went off. I don't know what's up with that though, but um, I'm having a power issue or whatever or something. But yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, are oh, you about the renting over, um, renting over buying? Yeah, I yeah I, I'm only I only bought six units because I couldn't go find six units to rent though, and I needed to be at eleven trucks in order to get to my million dollars profit that I'm trying to that I'm trying to get. 
my work, you know, I'm trying to make a million dollars in the worst case scenario with just if every truck just averaged two thousand dollars a week. I just wanna I just wanna test the theory. Do you think it's better to get a class B? I can have a better box truck choice. Mm, yeah, you definitely gonna have a better choice though. But if you want to hire a driver, you he only you only can hire a class B driver. So everything I'll, every answer I'm gonna give you is gonna always be a scaled thought, a thought about okay, what if somebody else was doing it, not not me? How much is what exactly? Actually, it's not going to be an update because I'm not doing a restaurant in St. Louis any longer. I'm going to just do a, a restaurant out here. And because of the COVID thing, it kind of got me very, very skeptical of proceeding with it. And then with the contractors and everything that I went through with the stuff in St. Louis, I'm definitely, I'm definitely got like a little small, small, little bad taste in my mouth. But I definitely would want to rather just do it out here in Atlanta because it it would be it eliminates a whole lot of the back and forth for me um, from having to go to St. Louis so much to do it. I do want to do one in, but in back home, but I think I want to get it started out here now first. But I'm glad you've been following me that long on, on that on that journey. Yeah, man, we still haven't even got anything done, and uh, we've been having problems with the owner from the space that we that we leased it from. Man, it just been it just been all types of um, I don't know what's going on with my with my video. Like my last two lives and man, it been it been kind of tripping. I don't know. Yes, please. I do need the plug out here in St. Louis since it's more lucrative out here. It's a show mistake. Oh yeah, definitely. Um my email is kobepegway at gmail.com or you can hit me up on my other email, uh, info at kobepegway.com. And and just um put put dispatcher. Emergency say, uh, class B is whack. Get to class A. I feel you. I mean, I feel like you just, just might as well just get the upgrade for it and just go ahead and get the semi. Do you think CDL rule coming next month going to hurt the game find drivers in years to come? Nah, not at all. Because the, the rule is only just making it to where you got to kind of go take a class for it, from my understanding. And I and I hire drivers that got two years experience anyway, so it's not going to affect any of the type of drivers that I'm looking for anyway, because I don't look for brand new drivers. So nah, I don't think so. Appreciate you both for doing these lives. Respect. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, man. We gotta um talk about. It. I mean, y'all actually, I appreciate y'all and um the people that's coming in, that's booking the calls, that's taking the courses, and that's 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 patronizing it. That's what's keeping it alive for me because now I can actually be like, okay. Now I could I could carve out time on my day all the time to be like, okay, let me do this. Now, of course, if my business is 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 um ain't 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 going as as well, then you know, you ain't gonna see me as much because I gotta I'd be having to get that back in order. In your opinion, would you say fifty five thousand for two thousand fifteen freight line is a good deal in this climate? So, yeah, I mean that that's about what I pay for my trucks. I probably pay like 10k more for just a year newer. But other than that, they got about the same specs, or some of them got seven hundred fifty thousand. So yeah, is it still a black screen now? No, no, no. This is the old thing. This is the old thing. You say interested in hearing more on that theory? On which theory? Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm just now catching up to some of these comments. Those 11 trucks are doing over the road. Yeah. Yeah, the 11 trucks are, um, they, they over the road, not in the sense of like New York to California. They just, they more regional. I only had to keep my trucks in like a 600 mile radius of, of Georgia. So thanks for the, thanks for the for me information of, about starting my LLC. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, man. I got I got plenty of stuff in the pipeline. Plenty, plenty of good game I'm giving out out there, man. I just like I said, man. We eventually we all gonna be <laughs> millionaires, and I'm need a loan from y'all. So 
I need investors, man. That's why it's important to do this. I don't be wanting to put all my money up all the time. Where can I get semis to rent? I'm in dire need of two right now. I, I have no idea. If I if you find out, let me know. <laughs> no more city lookups. Nah, um, not for real, because I don't I don't feel like the city lookups are really are good for real though, because it's not really telling the story because I'm looking at because the timing of the low board and the real reality is through is from like eight to five. That's when the low boards really be popping. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be I do be doing you a disservice just showing you, you know, how to handle your rejection loads from receivers. Oh, how do you handle them? Um, I just really, well, really, I ain't really got a lot of rejected loads. I just, if, if they reject it, really, they don't never reject the load. Well, hold on. If if they ever got if they reject if you got like Walmart or Target where it's an appointment and they reject the load, then they just you just gotta wait until they give you another appointment. But if you um I didn't went in with like a trailer with a roll up door and they didn't they didn't been like we well, you should we needed a swing door or trailer, I just book another load though. That's the only way I can know to, to to deal with it as far as that. But I haven't really faced a whole lot of rejected loads though. What's the name of that? The fuel card is Wex. It's W E X. When I'm running Calm Data right now, um, they give me thirty one cents off the gallon, but that was from because I was running with Amazon. So, oh, the million dollar theory: two grand a week from every truck. Oh yeah. So basically, in order to make a million dollars a week, I would I would need to make at least nineteen thousand two hundred dollars a week. So if I if if I have eleven trucks and just ten of them just did two thousand times ten, that's twenty thousand. So that'll put me at eight hundred a week over the goal. And of course, you know trucks got to go down. So that's why I say that that eleventh um, that eleven truck theory is because I need that extra truck to. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on. I need that eleven truck to to kind of offset it. But then you got to consider. Even though I do four thousand sometimes, three thousand sometimes during the weeks, drivers still got to be days off. They still take vacation. They still you still got holidays. So every week is not going to be a three thousand dollar week for every truck. But if I can average over the year over fifty two weeks, the balance in that, then yeah. But I'm a, I, was, I was trying to shoot some content of and make a series where like I drop every week and let y'all know where I'm at and how the week went and everything like that so if you i mean if y'all would like to see that and i mean hell i give me a cameraman and i'll start trying to record it because i wanted to do it it's just making content is a lot so i, I said my wife needs help with the um, dispatch business oh yeah i can help help her out um doing that it's just much easier when you when you when you dispatch and when you already in doing doing trucking already. It's kind of like a like a very good a very good byproduct. The more trucks you add to your insurance, wouldn't it help insurance to be lowered? Nah. Nah, this ain't car cars, um, like with the cars you have like multi-car discount. This ain't that. They just gonna charge you the same price. <clears throat> Is it difficult running semi trucks? Yes, right now it is. I haven't seen any in my area or yours long term. Or do you periodically turn them? Nah, uh, when I get them, I, I keep them into forever, pretty much. Like, so all my trucks I didn't probably have for, they they 2022. So I had them since as soon as Ryder gave them to me. Well, three of them 2022s, one of them like a 2019, 2019 or something. But I had these trucks since they got them. And I've been waiting on more of them, so. always long term like if it was up to me i have 11 rental trucks i wouldn't have, i wouldn't own none of these trucks the theory i think he was asking oh yeah what's the warranty on freightliner truck in general freightliner trucks in general are you talking about like brand new because i don't have any um brand new trucks to know about as far as that but um i got an ntp warranty and they it covers a lot of the big issues, but it's still a lot of stuff that it don't cover. Have you ever ran for UPS? Nah. I did think I did one box truck load for them probably like 
three, four years ago. And um, it was good, though. It was a good load then, though, but that was through, it wasn't directly through them. It was through somebody else, though. Fam, you got the Dollar Tree camera. Your screen is crazy. <laughs> oh, no, man. My camera actually um costs like two grand. I, I don't think it's the camera itself. I think it's something up with my wires. So it definitely ain't the camera. I got a Sony a7 III. So I got them, my lens and my camera together, three grand. And, my, and I'm on a, the new the new MacBook Pro. So it ain't the computer. That's six bands. That's six grand together. I got, I got that. I'm thinking it's my cam link, though. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get a new cam link. That's the only thing it could be. How do you get loads for loads, Home Depot? I already know. Um, I would say just call them. I book a lot of my stuff through brokers right now, and they just be giving me everything. Purchasing your mentors just giving me access to you for how long? Um, I've been mentoring some people for like six months. It just depends. Like everybody's journey is different. Some people are ready to go right now, and and they they just go. So six to eight weeks. But I can get everything set up for you and get you active in three weeks. Um, everything else is like you find the driver and how fast you want to go. A lot of people try to do it when they got jobs and all that type of stuff. So it really only could to take six to eight weeks for me to help you set up, mentor you, and help you make your money back. It shouldn't take longer than that unless you got a problem with the truck, unless you got a problem finding the driver, something that ain't got nothing to do with me on my end. It's always the, the client and they end why why it would take longer. UPS is hard to run for, trust me. Good looking. Yeah, definitely want to see your week weekly progression. Oh yeah, for sure. For, for sure, yeah. They got they got their picks. Oh UPS. I don't have a truck just yet. What lanes are good for Ohio box tractor? Um, Ohio good on both though. From 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 what I knew, I know for a fact Ohio pay hella good coming out for semis. That's a fact still right now. Box trucks, I don't know. I know when I when I looked up when I used to do lookups, I used to all, always see stuff. But the the Midwest always got plenty of work though. When you think box trucks gonna be more available, love from Memphis. When you think box trucks gonna be more available, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know much about box trucks. I don't even. Um, I just know what I knew about box trucks. The game right now, I'm not sure exactly how good the box truck game is right now. I got a couple of shitty loads, six or seven loads I run every day for Amazon. I got contractors that run them. Other than that. I don't really um uh, I don't really follow too much stuff on the box trucks because most of the people with box trucks are like are losing unless they driving a the truck they sell. So that's why I kind of try to get more people over to semis because I'm trying to get you to a place where you're gonna be able to scale versus just you know staying um you know staying with just that one truck. He said, how much YouTube pay you? Um it, it, it just depends on like if like if y'all share more. It, uh, um, I get more because I get more views, but I probably made last year. I probably made like fourteen thousand, just off of views. But um, I made a lot more off of people that find me on here. You know, they book my classes and stuff like that. What up, John? I ain't seen you in a while. I know you said STL is a good place to run a business. What about Texas? Um, don't know a lot about Texas. Texas is close to water, so for it's a, it's, it's a no for me, unless I'm already there and I got to make it work. But I, I like I like places that are not that close to water. The further away from water, the more the freight pays because the, the demand for it is higher. So stay away from the water is the number one rule of the game. If you're close to the water, you know the freight gonna be a little bit low once you get away from there then you'll start to see the show they'll be offered like in st louis they offering and you like chicago they, they offer you 350 four dollars a mile like before you even start negotiating with them so i don't know it's just crazy i'm thinking about selling 26 foot box truck do you think get do you think getting loads for it could get better 
box truck has always been harder. Even the whole five years I've been in the game, it's been harder because it's it takes up so much. It it takes so much um, to do it because it's well, it, it takes so much to get loads because it's so easy to do. Is what I'm trying to say. So more people to when wherever in any industry where the barrier entry is easier, it's going to be more people there. It's kind of like the difference between selling weed and crack. It's going to be more people selling weed because the barrier entry is lower. Essentially, you know what I'm saying? And the time that you will get if you get caught is lower. So it's going to be so that's like box trucks is like weed and and semi trucks will be like cocaine, you know, or something like that or whatever, a heroin or something like that. But yeah, that that's just that's just what it's going to be. And it's and it's never going to change for real. I don't think I don't foresee I don't foresee box trucks ever, ever getting better. Unless, like I said, unless, of course, unless, of course, you find like, like now in Phoenix, as a one truck person in Phoenix, it was much better than here in Atlanta. Much better. A hundred percent better because in Phoenix, it was, they had, they had different laws and it wasn't that many way stations. So you could run a little bit overweight, kind of cheat your way through the game. And um, and so you didn't you didn't have to worry about the clock as much because, like I said, because there's no way stations, I could kind of run over a little bit because it ain't that many way stations. Now, the only thing I hated about there is that they 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 state they highway they highway troopers or DPS. So it's kind of like you got <laughs> you got they it's, it's all DPS. It's you know through there and they they definitely be be pulling people over. But if you stay within um. If you stay from like the north of like Phoenix, you'll be good. But out there, they just it, they had like a lot of hospitals that I was running for, a lot of different places that I just haven't been able to find those type of companies here. To when I had the box truck to like make a to put like a big dent in in my debt that I had going on. So, how about Boston? I I don't really know. I don't really know every market. I just know that Midwest pays the best. You can get money in any market. Like, it's just a fact. If I pull up the load board, they're going to be loads in any market. It just depends on where your driver is willing to go and how long he's willing to stay out. And the driver, the flexibility of the driver pretty much determines your check. I pretty much told all my drivers, I need you to at least do three or four days out. If y'all not, not open to that, then I'm pretty much getting rid of them and hiring new drivers because I understand that even though I like to have my tracks home, my trucks home every other day, I still need like if the game changes, I need the driver to be open to doing it. Do you have to use the ELD when doing local runs? I use the ELD period, so I don't know if I I've never not used the ELD since I've been in the game because I came in in 2017 when it was mandated. So I never not used it. So I don't, I don't know what are the cases that you can't use it in because I, I, I always use it. And and basically, as long if you got one truck that got an ELD, then I believe all the trucks got to have ELD. You can't have some. You can't have some doing ELDs and then some not. What the fuck is wrong with this? Oh, I, I, I guess this thing is getting it's, it is getting super hot though. Hold on, y'all. There we go. I just tried to switch my um my cam link to a different slot in my uh, in my laptop. Maybe that maybe that'll help it out. Peace, bro. What's the outlook 
of the trucking business in Arkansas. I don't hey y'all asking me about all these different states. I, I don't know. Um I've never had a problem with getting loads out of Arkansas. I've never had a problem getting loads out of nowhere that I was trying to get out of. You know what I'm saying? Um y'all just gotta look at the board in your area, like book a call so we can look at that your particular area and kind of talk about that directly for like a whole hour. Then we can I could more kind of kind of create a plan or, or or a scope of it but i don't i don't know every single market just off the top of my head because my trucks only run 600 mile radius how to get with you on learning dispatch on brokering and what's the ticket on the class the, the, the dispatching class will only be 299 i mean 199 for just dispatching and the other class if y'all inquire about it today is 399 and you could take them both in the same day for five ninety nine. So, so I'm down to the bottom. Let me make sure I ain't, uh, ain't, ain't passed up none of these. You see? So you're saying semis are the best to use versus a box truck? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm definitely saying that. I mean, but I got as far as the financial records, I got the the, the records to prove them. King, King, King. Ortman said, get them likes up. That's what I'm saying. Get them likes up, y'all. Hi, hi, Kobe. We should have a meet and greet so owner operators can, can network like me. Uh, um, I was thinking about doing something in, um, in Atlanta, but it'd be so many people that be like, they be talking. Uh, we be talking on a, um, on a comment board, but a lot of people just in here spectating, not really. I be trying to talk to people, but not, not a lot of people be serious for real. But yeah, I, I mean, I'd love to do something like that. What's a decent mileage for a semi to purchase for over the road? I mean, mine's got 700000 on them, and I'm doing just fine with them. Hey, hold on one second. I got to make sure that they... Um... Hold on one second. I'm, I'm from Atlanta. Yeah, Jay said he at the um, office. All right. And you got the empty stickers? Yeah, it should be like one with like two of them on there. Yeah, you know I'm saying it's one, but it should, should basically be like a lot. It should be long to where it's like two stickers on there. All right. All right. All right, for sure. How to get shippers? Um, shippers, I feel like you could call around. I just haven't had the time to really focus directly on getting direct shippers because, and it, that's another one of the reasons why I'm trying to get up to my 11 so I can get my pitch. But I'm, I'm I got 11, but four of them in the shop, so I'm only running seven trucks right now. So keep in mind, I still got to pay the insurance and everything on all of those trucks while they sit. So. I'm going to be able to pitch them 10 trucks easily once I do that because it'd be hard trying to get people to to want to work with you and give you dedicated work when you only got one truck. And it's actually hard trying to get work for one truck. Because like even right now, I got two, I got a 445 um, PM pickup and a 4 AM pickup that's dedicated seven days a week. It seems like you'd be like, damn, okay, it's only 200 and I say it's 350 miles, but a, the truck can't turn around though. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of the lanes, unless it's local, they, the truck won't be able to make it back. So I need, I got five trucks on just those two lanes because it's seven days a week. So you got to have enough, you got to have enough trucks in order to even get the dedicated work or you're going to have it for a little while and then you're not going to have it no more because you're not going to be able to keep up with it. The trucking game can get real dirty, LOL. And it can also be good. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, this is the streets. For real. Them brokers will hang up on you quick. The 
if I drive my own box truck, do you think I can stack for about two months to buy a semi? I don't know. Like I said, I mean, I can't guarantee you that. Um, I just know the only way to go in a box truck is if you're driving it yourself. Unless you got some some real, like a real thorough cousin or somebody you know that's really going to, and I had some dope drivers. It wasn't the drivers. It was the work. It was the work being consistent, though. <clears throat> Taking pennies. I mean, because you got to think about it. The thing I can't get through my head is why would I take $2 a mile in a box truck when I can get $3 a mile in a semi and they both get, get fixed at the same shop? So the repairs cost the same. The turbo for... A semi is gonna cost the same for a box truck, a transmission, a clutch, all of that stuff costs the same amount. So why would I go get the truck that has the same bill but doesn't make the same amount of money and doesn't have the same amount of work? To me, that's counterproductive. It just doesn't make sense to me. So that's why I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling people like once you start to fix the maintenance and you start to see when fixing the trucks, I'm like, it don't even make sense to have a box truck unless I got it brand new or I'm renting it. And then after I get past the maintenance, I look at the work. It just ain't a whole lot of it there. What up, Kobe? I just got in here. I hope you're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excellent. Excellent. Especially when I'm getting, um, <laughs> especially when they're giving me $3,000 for, I think I got three grand for like 600 miles or some shit like that. Direct work with the shippers is the way to go. These brokers be scamming the drivers. Like, yeah, these these brokers, man, they don't be want to pay you detention. But see, I deal with like a lot of the same people most of the time. So most of most of my work comes from JB Hunt, for real. So I don't, I don't be dealing with a whole lot of different people. Philly just popped in. Now on my back calls for my dedicated work, I do be um dealing with some people. What's up, Will? I want to say Will Shero. Thanks for the for the for the the donation too. I appreciate you, bro. Um, if you have had one truck, would you handle? Well, if you had one truck, how would you handle driver sick days or drivers requested time off? Does the truck just sit, or would you have backup drivers? I mean, I don't see how I don't see what backup driver would sit and wait for somebody to get sick in order to have work. Um, and when I was, when I only had one driver, it was just me. So I ain't really need no backup driver for real, essentially for that. So I don't, I don't know what it is outside of that. Um, that's why I said like multiple trucks just make a little more sense. So if you got threes, I mean, I like the, the, the threes. So you got one down, you still got two running, you still bringing in income, but in a box truck, eh. well, I guess, are you, hold on, are, are you referring to a box truck or a semi wheel? Because in a semi, I would just let it sit because there's no way you're going to have no extra semi driver laying on hand, which is why it would be important to get your CEL. So that way, if you didn't want the truck to sit, you could just go hop in it yourself if the driver was sick, you know, and your truck will always keep moving. I want to drive my box and scale out semi. I'm coming to you when I'm ready. Thanks for all the info. All right, for sure. For sure, Derek. Not a problem. All right, so any more questions? Because we're nearing up an hour. And um, like I said, I actually think I fixed my problem. I think I got a bad um, I think one of my one of one of my ports is bad on my thing. On my, uh, on my MacBook. And then I have to call AppleCare. Get it fixed. Because it's damn sure not old enough to be fucking up. Just jumping on, jumping in to show you some love. With Big Big TV. What it do? Thanks for stopping by, man. I'm sure just about to probably shut it down. If ain't nobody got no more questions up in here, yeah, we can go. All right, uh, here go my email right here. I'm gonna drop y'all my email. Let me know if y'all got some more questions before this Q and A is over. Hey. 
me know if y'all need some, if y'all need dispatching for the semi. Here's the email, y'all. Go ahead and um take it down. Let me know, Queen Diva. I'm gonna let you know if we're working on. If I'm working on that, shoot me an email and tell and um and request that right there so I can have my assistant put that on the board. So, you know, we can get to it. I just need, I just need more than you know more people requesting it so I can so it can be a bigger event. You feel me? But if y'all ain't got no more um, questions for the Q and A, hold on. I think I got a few more. You said, "Did you mentor Big Vic?" No, I didn't. Uh -uh. He's just another brother doing YouTube. Just stop by. I don't, I don't um, know, him, know him outside of that. We remember my name. I'm going to be one of your prized pupils. Oh, okay, <laughs> thanks for the knowledge. Oh yeah, for sure. I've been getting. I've been getting all love though um, from people saying that, that that the stuff I've been saying been working. So hey, that's what they do. Waiting for my authority to get approved. That's what's up. Appreciate, appreciate. Okay, I will email you first sight, first thing in the morning. I, I'm assuming. Do you do dispatching in Philly? And how far out? Yeah, yeah, I do dispatching in Philly as long as it's semi anywhere. I just don't want to dispatch nobody from um out of Florida. <laughs> Keep that ATL rocking with you, no questions right now. All right. Lowe's in Tennessee. Nah, I don't know. Bless up, Kobe. Happy New Year to you, Houston in the building. That's what's up. What up, Houston? You said get an Android. <laughs> oh no, nah, man. Oh no. Nah. I watched the videos Kobe dropping at the beginning of my journey for sure. Uh, okay, well. I wouldn't say I meant to him, but he did watch the videos. Hopefully they help. Big big out too as well. Oh Miami? Nah. Uh-uh. I'm cool. Where do you park your units hub term? Um park your units hub terminal. Yeah, it's it's about 70 different spots out here out in and in, in probably in, in anywhere where you can go pop. Just go on Craigslist and you can find you somewhere to park. Looking for investors. Who's at these nuts? And I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my man's talking about right there. It's a lot of white glove there. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't deal with no white glove. Some of my drivers don't like white glove at all. Anyway, thanks for the game and advice. I'm gonna send you my info for sure. Like Derek Hood say, good luck to everybody. Um, I'm gonna try to go live twice next week if I can. You know, if I can get the time, more than likely I will. Though, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the time, and hopefully, you ain't gotta um, you ain't gotta deal with my my camera doing um, doing all that glitching out all and all of that. But peace, y'all.